What is PAD? That's peripheral arterial disease. That's caused by atherosclerosis, which is some sort of hardening or plaque buildup in the arteries. And it very commonly affects the arteries that supply blood to the lower extremities. And that can cause either symptoms of leg heaviness, tiredness, aching or cramping when you're trying to walk. It can limit your walking ability and walking distance. And in severe cases, can cause extreme limitation of blood flow to the lower extremities, putting patients at risk for amputation. If you have symptoms of PAD, or you've been told by your doctor that you have PAD, then you should be seen by a vascular specialist, and we have a tremendous team here at New York Presbyterian Hospital. Patients with vascular disease risk factors may have PAD. Those risk factors include smoking, high blood pressure, diabetes, elevated cholesterol, and oftentimes a family history of cardiovascular diseases. The chances of getting PAD can be reduced by modifying your vascular disease risk factors. So if you smoke, that's the most important thing, you should definitely stop smoking. If you have high blood pressure, that should be treated. If you're diabetic, your blood sugar levels should be controlled. Uh, and a program of regular exercise is also beneficial. There are a variety of new and exciting endovascular treatments for peripheral arterial disease affecting circulation to the legs. These include a range of different techniques from angioplasty, stent placement, atherectomy, and other new techniques that are rapidly evolving in the field. One of the benefits here at New York Presbyterian Hospital is that we have tremendous expertise and we're on the cutting edge in development and use of these endovascular techniques to treat PAD.